Tatiana Ward here with BeatFaceHoney.com and thank you so much for joining me. Uh, Rihanna came out with the video for We Found Love. Um, I forget what the guy model's name is, but he is so hot. Ugh, he's so hot. So uh, if you guys haven't checked that out yet, I certainly hope you do. I thought it was well done. Uh, I don't think that it's cool to glorify all of the drugs per se, but that's life and that happens. So um, I thought that it was a really cool, dark twist to a really upbeat, annoying song. It ain't, the song ain't my cup of tea, but I love, the video makes me like the song. So anyway, uh, very basic makeup that can be worn anywhere with the exception of the lip, which can be changed. But uh, for you beginners, this is a great way to learn blending and um, just something simple. This is a good way to, this is a good look, I mean, to just ease in to learning more complicated stuff. Yeah, if you think that you could learn something from this video, I certainly do hope you will stay tuned to find out how I did this makeup. Okay guys, so to start this look, I'm going to take a paint pot from MAC. This is the color Rubenesque. And it's kind of this goldish color, and this is what it looks like. I'm going to put that on my lid and just spread that up through my brow. And that's just going to act as our base. Now I'm going to take this kind of ashy brown that I uh, use on my eyebrows. It's just an eyeshadow from MAC. It's called Espresso. And because Rihanna doesn't really seem to have like a very defined or pronounced brow for the sake of what we're trying to accomplish here we're just going to keep this as natural looking as we can and normally I would outline my eyebrows but again I really want it to be just kind of um, subdued and, and looking done but natural so I'm going to take an eyebrow pencil from MAC this is the color of stud and it's just an eyebrow pencil and where normally I would trace the lower portion of my brow I'm not going to do that I'm just going to draw an extension just to slightly bring out my eyebrow just I've brought out the length of it there and to create this kind of shimmery uh, color under my brow I'm going to take this eyeshadow from MAC this is called rice paper and this is what's called your highlight. I'm putting that right under my brow. And this color can be a shimmery, shiny color, or it can be a flat color. But uh, because it looks like Rihanna has a shiny color going on, I'm using this one. It's just a frosted eyeshadow. Now I want to take this eyeshadow. It's kind of a reddish brown. And it is called Saddle. And I'm taking this domed brush. I use this brush uh, for what you're about to see me use it for and also to set the concealer under my eyes. And I'll show you that also. So I'm going to take this color and focusing right on this area in here. Um, trying not to get it onto my lid and trying not to get it up into the light color that we've just placed down. Right on the in-between. And you see I'm making back and forth motions. Okay, and I'm just going to take my finger and blend. I'm not pressing or rubbing. You don't want to take off the makeup. You just want to blend it. And the reason that I'm doing this very lightly is just to make sure that there's just a seamless gradation from light to this middle color here. I don't want it to be a line. I want it all to be blended so that it looks like it's going from dark to light. Okay, and I'm going to take this color. This is a dark brown from MAC, and it's called Handwritten. This is a small domed brush from Sigma, and I'm putting this color right in that crease. So you can see right here where my crease is. So I don't want to put it exactly on my lid, but I want to get it literally right above the fold in my eye and I'm taking this color and rocking all the way back and forth you don't want to press down you just want to lightly trace it and that's good now I'm going to take an even darker brown this is a color called Embark 
And I'm not going to say that this is even darker. When you look at these two colors together, I think that they're the same kind of darkness. It's just that Embark is a more rich color. It's a more rich brown than Handwritten is. They're equally as dark, though. So we're going to take our more rich brown and focusing right on the end of my eye, I'm going to put that color. I'm not taking it back and forth like I did the the ashy brown. I'm just keeping it right on the second portion of my eye. And I'm not lifting my brush. I'm literally just keeping it in one spot. And that was pretty easy. And now I want to take a very pretty, uh, just kind of peachy color from MAC. This is called Arena. And that's going right on my lid. And I'm putting that all the way across. And do you believe that we're done? We have a just very simple eye um, with a little bit of definition here on the outer corner. That's why we put that dark brown in there. And this is absolutely something that you could wear to the office or feel confident wearing anywhere. And if you wanted to intensify it at night, you could just bring some of that dark brown and put it right on the outer corner of your lid. And that would give it a kind of smoky look. Okay, you saw me just wipe up under my eye with a wet wipe, any fallout that may have uh, fallen down. Now I'm going to take Studio Finish from MAC. I am using NC42, and I like to apply my concealer with my finger. It's amazing what a little concealer will do, huh, ladies? And I think it's a common misconception that concealer just goes directly under your eye. Uh, you have to fan it out. Fan it out towards your hairline, and it should also be on the top of your cheekbone, and this way it's seamless. It's clearly lighter under my eye, but you can't tell where the light starts and stops. Good makeup is all about how well you blend it. All right, and you're always going to want to set your concealer. I'm going to use Max Prep and Prime Translucent Powder. Translucent meaning that it is see-through. It doesn't have any color. So it looks white, but it comes on, it goes on clear. And remember how we put down the lightest brown with that domed brush? Well, I use the same brush. I have more than one of them. If you're going to use the same brush, you're going to want to wipe it off first to make sure that your eyeshadow doesn't get under your eye. But I'm going to just pat that translucent powder on with that same domed brush from Sigma. And if you're using this for eyeshadow, you're going to use it when you want that color to be fanned out. We had a larger area to cover, which is why we use this color for that light brown saddle. And then, and then when we put that dark brown in, we used a smaller domed brush because we needed to get a more restricted area, a more precise application. So the smaller the brush, for the smaller the area, the bigger the brush for the bigger the area. All right, and now that that's set, I'm going to put on a super black eyeliner from MAC. This is called Feline, pulling my eye slightly taut, and I want it to be kind of a thinner line. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm gonna show you a trick. So I'm gonna take this synthetic brush and I'm just blending that in. Let me get closer so you can really see. And this is a good way to clean up any mistakes. See, now it's looking more blended. It's really hard to create that point with a pencil like this. So what I'm going to do is just take the pencil, take that same synthetic brush, and just go like this and get some of the product on the brush. Now taking the brush, I can make my point this way. And you see, we've just created a point without using a gel liner or without using a pencil. Now I want to take a real haired angled brush and we're going to take that dark brown Embark and just put that under my lash line. And I'm gonna put that all the way across. 
And again, doing the same thing with that pencil that we did to make our point. Just getting some of the product onto a synthetic hair brush. I want to just run that like right at the edge of my eye. And I want to put on a really, really small lash. And the key to putting on fake lashes is to put the glue on the lash and then let it sit for a couple seconds. You have to wait for the glue to dry, otherwise you're just putting something super wet to your face. It's gotta have a little bit of time to dry so that it can get tacky. Those of you who watch me regularly, I'm sorry for repeating myself, but there's always someone new who doesn't know. Okay, you can go ahead and put on some mascara now. I'm gonna put this on the top and bottom and I'll be back. I wanna do a really subtle contour, so I'm going to take Studio Fix. This is a color that's a little bit too dark for me. This is a MAC product and I'm gonna put that right in the hollow of my cheek. And for something very simple on my cheek, I'm going to use Max Gingerly. Now I finally don't look so white under the eyes. Very, very simple and pretty, uh, just natural looking blush. Okay, and for my lips, I'm going to take a color called Plum from Revlon. I love Revlon's lip liners. The last little bit of sun is popping back out. That's why I'm like all of a sudden looking golden. Um, but I'm going to outline my lips with this. Now that I'm outlined, I'm going to take this red from Revlon. It's called In the Red. And um, I went over to Rite Aid today and Revlon was 40% off. So get on it. And you don't want to put any shine to this. You just want it to be very flat, matte lipstick. And to darken it up just a little bit, I'm going to take Black Cherry from Revlon. I'm putting that right over top. Okay, guys, so that's your completed look. And, of course, without the red lip, uh, this just basic eye can be worn anywhere. But uh, the red lip jazzes it up a little bit so uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this and if you want to know all of the products that I've used I always leave a detailed list on my blog um, also I hope you guys are tuning into I'm not my makeup which is my second channel basically just about my life it's like a little reality show online um, where you see my friends and I just running amok and acting crazy and also, I hope that you are following me on Twitter, and I hope that you like me on Facebook. All of the links to everything that I just mentioned are always down here in the information box. So, um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you right back here very soon. Thanks. Bye.